welcome to the Malix Minute, ladies and gentlemen, starring the Markley Brothers as Malix, Linus, and the Snufflefungus. Ugh, haven't we lived with this stupid theme song enough? No! When will the torture end? When this Snufflefungus stops dancing. Welcome to the Malix Minute. I'm Malix, and I host this pathological excuse for a comedy show along with my partners in crime, Linus the Laptop and Snufflefungus the Fur Thing. I like pathological. It tastes good with bagels. See, you're none the worse for the wear. Our big outing last quarter must not have phased you in the least. What big outing? Anyway, ladies and gents, this episode marks the beginning of a brand new Malix Minute quarter. Did we go somewhere? Yes, Snuffy, we did. Here's something really awesome. We're just beginning Malik's Minute Quarter 4, and this is Episode 40. So? Well, it's a complete fluke of math, and it'll never happen again. In fact, the next time a quarter begins on a number which is evenly divisible by 10 will be the beginning of Quarter 14 at Episode 170, which is even interesting all by itself, because that's just after the end of Quarter 13, which is special too, because there are 13 episodes in every quarter. Why do you even have to use Base 10? Things would be a lot less complicated if you just used Base 13. I remember, we went to the grocery store. No, Snuffy, that's not what I was thinking of. Snufflefungus, we went to rescue your family from slavery, and it turned out to be more like some idealistic example of a labor dispute than anything else. Oh yeah, I remember that. Funny how nobody seems to have missed us. Well, one thing did happen while we were gone. Some thieving hoodlums broke into what was left of your house. Yes, yes they did. After all of the violence at the end of quarter two, Malik's house was left almost completely destroyed. How come you remember that and not... Oh, never mind. Fortunately, nothing was actually stolen. Instead, they left a note. What did the note say? Well, it has a big red heading on it that says, Code Violation. Then it goes on to say, Your place of residence has been searched by your local burglars union representatives and has been found to violate our code in one or more areas. If you fail to conform to our demands by the next time we visit, you will be persecuted to the fullest extent. See the checked items in the following list to determine the exact nature of the violation or violations. Urgh, that makes my blood boil every time I hear it. You don't have any blood, you're a laptop. Oh, that's right. Well, then I couldn't care less. What did they say were the violations? Well, there's quite a list. First, they checked the box next to nothing interesting slash valuable to steal. They also checked failure to provide adequate refreshments in the fridge slash freezer, extraordinary levels of disarray slash mess, and tasteless decor. Of all your cheek. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Can't we do something about it? Like what? Like call the police or something. <laughs> Poor naive snuffle fungus. We're talking about the burglar's union. Key word being, in this case, union. So, I like union. It goes good on ice cream. Not this kind. As far as anyone can tell, a union is a mob of angry people, which is organized to the point that it's more powerful than the rest of the world. And like any other group of angry people with limitless power, they tend to hurt anyone or anything that gets in their way. I'm not very smart, but isn't that the sort of thing that the police are supposed to prevent? Only in a perfect world, Snuffy. Only in a perfect world. Well, I suppose we'll have to do what they say. Yep, I suppose so. So what now? I'm making dinner tonight. Oh? Yeah, I found a great recipe for laminate haberdashery with a side of undertones. Sounds great. Sadly, I've got to go eat at Taco King tonight instead. Sorry I'll have to miss it. I'm just thankful I can't eat. It always simplifies this sort of situation. Well, I guess I can wait until tomorrow to make it. Well, everybody, it looks like we're out of time for this week. Thanks a bunch for listening, and we hope you'll join us again next week on the Malik's Minute. That is, of course, assuming Malik survives Snuffy's cooking phase. Say goodbye to the listeners, Snuffy. Goodbye to the listeners, Snuffy. Today's episode is copyright 2006 by Alex Markley. This was a production of the Malik's Media Network. Please visit us online at maliksmedia.net. God bless and have a great day. Well, that was a struggle. Wait, Malik, what's going to happen to the listener Snuffy? Malik?